Riot is paying cheaters to try and break into Vanguard. And it's been going on for quite some time now. It's a bounty program that offers hackers up to 100K to find security flaws. But why is Riot working with the enemy? And does it actually work? Vanguard, Riot's powerful and highly intrusive anti-cheat, is finally making its much-anticipated debut in League of Legends. For those unaware, League does surprisingly have a bit of a cheating problem. I mean, according to Riot themselves, it got so bad that certain regions had a potential scripter in every one in five games. Now, as I'm sure most of you do know, Vanguard has proved to be a solid anti-cheat system, one that's able to cancel matches the moment a hacker is found. Yeah, he's trying! <laughs> Yes! Yes! JJ! JJ! Back 2.0 or Backnet, whatever you want to call it, can technically do the same thing, but Vanguard is definitely more consistent. That is mostly thanks to Vanguard having a kernel mode driver, which essentially means it's able to directly access most of your PC's hardware to suss out cheats. Sounds great, right? Well, there's a catch. You see, while there are obvious privacy issues that come with this level of access, an even bigger concern is the potential that Vanguard as a whole is one day hacked, leaving our PCs completely exposed. Tencent, a Chinese company, now is a 100% owner of Riot Games who will eventually have complete kernel level access to all computers that run League of Legends. And this worry is valid. Vanguard is now being introduced to a much bigger audience, which may increase the interest in exploiting it. However, Riot does have a bit of a countermeasure for this, a way to get potential hackers to work for them and not against them, the Bug Bounty Reward Program. The bounty program, run through cybersecurity company HackerOne, whom Riot is an angel investor for, is sort of what the name suggests. You can be compensated for finding exploits in their game, more specifically, within Vanguard. For example, if you're able to execute something like an XSS attack, you're eligible for up to 500 bucks. Get cheats working or develop one that does, you can make anywhere from 2K to 20K. But here's the kicker. Execute a line of code on the kernel level or steal sensitive information and you can make up to $100,000. So yes, Riot will technically pay for having their game hacked, which is cool since it's for a good purpose. Now, there are a bunch of other devs who run programs just like this one. Rockstar, Microsoft, and apparently even Valve. And while people do get paid out, it should be noted that there are a bunch of stipulations such as a disclosure agreement. You can't make this publicly aware before running it through the program first. So you can't just be a cheater and then try to get paid after the fact. Now, I haven't been able to get a hold of anyone who has been personally paid firsthand by any of these programs. And for the most part, you should know it's for actual security risks and usually not in-game exploits or bugs. But four years ago, a CSGO player was reported to have been paid over $1,100 for their reports. And according to HackerOne's website, the last CS2 bug report was resolved just a couple of days ago. Point to all of this is, sometimes it actually pays to be a decent person. And as Don Hachi said way back then, don't abuse, report. Personally, I think this is a pretty cool and intuitive way to deal with potential hackers you know, while also being able to skirt paying actual wages. Is this going to completely extinguish all the concerns people have about League getting Vanguard? No, people are going absolutely feral about this on the game subreddits, with a few literally saying they'd rather just play against cheaters. At the same time, I do see this controversy dying down, just like it did with Valorant. Listen, I just simply don't think that people care as much about their own security as they do playing a game they love without cheaters ruining it. A sentiment iterated very well by the War Owl in his recent video on CS2 and whether it should get a kernel level anti-cheat. Here's a truth that's very difficult to accept, especially for people like myself with a tech background. The number of players that Valorant lost by having an intrusive anti-cheat is minuscule compared to the number of players they gained by having a working anti-cheat. For the most part, users do not care about privacy or security. With all that said, I want to hear from you guys. Are you going to be uninstalling League over Vanguard like many people said they would, or do you welcome it with open arms? And most importantly, do you think a bounty program actually properly incentivizes people to hack for good? I feel like you should be there should be incentive there. What would you? Yeah. Would you? Would you get anything for it? Yeah, I think you get RP or Yeah. 
like off page. Yeah, it was like RP. It was a small amount, but yeah, yeah it was right. just I like, mean, you didn't get shit really for this. Yeah, if I don't, if I remember correctly, I don't, I don't remember. I never did it because I'm not doing their fucking job for them. That's for sure. But I don't remember there being any, like I don't know, in, maybe increase like the chances of a drop if you do it. 